So this is the 2009 IEEE Micromouse competition for Region 6, and uh, this is UCSD. And they're actually going to hold the competition in this room tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And uh, it's uh, about 4 o'clock. <laughs> now we're working out a lot of little bugs in the software. We're going to try to get one more algorithm running. We're actually going to try to do a couple of test runs, try to get the thing tuned. So the way our robot is designed, it's going to basically go on an exploratory mission in the maze and you know map out everything that it can and then it's going to drive back to the starting box and then it's going to use a uh, direction or route finding algorithm and it's going to find the fastest path back to the center and then the robot will drive that. Now that's the ideal case where everything is working perfectly. Right now we're going to be very happy if we solve the maze. Uh, it's a, this is, it looks like a very simple process for you know like humans we have you know, years of playing in kindergarten and elementary school of solving mazes, class activities. We have to teach the computer system all of that using software. And that takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And it, it ends up being a fairly complex software issue. Now we're going through a, looks like a debug cycle, where we've got uh, some code loaded up on the laptops here. And uh, they're going through and they're, they're debugging the uh, the software. Uh, we just had a circuit board sort of look like it died. So Alex has sort of written all the low-level code along with designing the circuit boards themselves. Over the past uh, few months, I've designed and built all the electronics on here. So we've got a processor board on top here and a power supply board and a motor controller board all packed in here. And then down here we have distance sensors. And uh, these sensors basically are how the robot sees around the maze and basically detects all the walls. Coming out of this robot, uh, say this sensor here, we have some light that fires here. It bounces off this wall and comes back to a detector. And basically this assembly measures the distance that this sensor is from that wall. And then using a little bit of software, we can relate that to sort of a left-right clearance. The other thing this lets us do is when the distance goes bigger than a certain value, we can see a gap in the wall. So if it's, you know, it, this here returns a different value set than having a break in the wall, which would signify a, a branch for the maze. Um, and what that basically lets us do is do, give the robot vision without having to deal with all the problems that a camera introduces. The debugging process involves testing the uh, code on the robot and seeing what it does. And if it does what you don't expect it to do, you need to figure out why that happened. So you look at debugging information, like lights on the bot, the LCD display, or stuff dumped to the computer, to figure out what happened. And you change the code to try and fix the problem. And you de uh, compile it, download it to the bot, and test it again. And you repeat that process until you figure out what went wrong. You want to upload code in this thing? Okay, so basically this is the software that we've written. We wrote the software for the robot and we're debugging it right now. Overall, it's been a really good learning experience. We've learned how to work as a team. We've learned to rely on each other. Being a computer science major, how is this project helpful to you? I can work on algorithm and can be more interface with the with low level stuff like hardware stuff, interface with all the processor, microprocessor. We kind of have it. So, Software programming is more like uh, you, uh, you run software and then you can print it out on the screen. This one is harder. It's, you put into the put into the code to the mate, uh, to the, the, the the mouse, and then uh, somehow if something went wrong, uh, that's a fun part because you don't know what's wrong. So you need to uh, have some way to debug them. <laughs> Hi, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Now they're going to compile and download the code to the bot with the uh, JTAG cable, which you can see hanging off the side of the bot there. And this process takes a couple seconds. All right, now that the code's downloaded, they can take the bot and put it in the maze and see if whatever changes they made did, uh, you know, what it's supposed to do. <laughs> oh, wow, that's fast. <laughs> So, yeah.
Thank you.